Hey, what is up? Over here at Tanger Outlets, little debate for my daughter and I whether we actually already did this one or not. I do not think so. So, it is in the series, how ghetto is this rooftop? Question mark. Doesn't mean that it's gonna be ghetto or I think it's ghetto. Initially, it was gonna be all the older, more abandoned, interesting rooftops where I did expect to find, you know, neglected units, you know, ripped apart, you know, infested with pigeons, whatever. But it is, some people do like to see some of the rooftops they used to be on, or I do too, or just, you know, curious about. So, also including, you know, some of the ones that I already know aren't gonna be necessarily ghetto. I've been on this roof quite a few times, and I know it's not ghetto, I'm kind of talking about it the end of the other video so each one of these sections does have a rooftop access and the units are very nice and neat at this site this is a pretty good rooftop they have there's an access right there and then you kind of got to climb a ladder and get the rest now I don't remember any solar panels being up here so this is that's probably pretty new pretty neat pretty easy rooftop to put solar on there just because the units are basically all nice and neat so as i said in the other video the only thing i didn't like about this place was that i believe the property management office didn't open till 9 a.m so you couldn't come here like six or seven to get a start you had to you know couldn't do this beginning of the day or you'd, or you'd be getting a late start but down there somewhere is the property management you know there's a couple rooftop places to go to a lot so this is one of them right here because, uh, you know, the company I was working for did some of the uh, property management accounts. So we did a handful of the places over here. And so I was working on some of these AC units right over here. I think the coach store and a couple other places. It's been a while. I mean, here's more solar panels. Those solar panels were not there. But did a pretty good job uh, where they put them. <laughs> getting a little close to AC units, but it's probably a, a good six foot or more once you're over there. So these AC units, once you're up on the roof, they're pretty easy to get to. Uh, per, not too bad to get the air filters up. There's the crawl hatch right there in the middle of this one. The other good thing is uh, there is water. Although you had to bring a couple hoses up, they do have nice hose bibs on this one. I think there's one right there. So the red is the roof hatch. And I believe I'm getting ready to look. There's a little hose bit right and get it in the middle of the screen so you can kind of see it. It's one of those good ones. The pressure wasn't all that great here though, which is unfortunate. Yeah, so it's changed since I've been here. So I'm kind of glad I did this one. Pretty interesting. And it looks like, so this one doesn't look like they got solar panels on in the middle yet. been on that roof but not as many times most of the ones I was this roof right here that I spent most of my time on got some solar panels it seems like the solar panels are mostly on the ex outside perimeter for now and they're not on every single section So I don't know who benefits from the panels, if it's actually for the suite, or if it's going to deal with them, or if the, it's the uh, just for the property owners or managers or whatever. Hmm. Um, the other good, cool thing is, so say you're going over to this building here, each one of these has like loading areas. And usually you can find a parking spot in there for your service truck. And then you'd, uh, they'd open the door for you. Some of the doors after they're open are open to the main corridors. And then the, the, the property uh, management would just open the access door for, for them to get to the rooftop. I think there's the access point right there in the middle on that one. So This middle one, though, if I remember, you had to come up a flight of stairs. Real long stairs from the... Uh, i trying to remember where it is been a while but there's a big long flight of stairs to get to on the middle section so the outer perimeters are just uh, rooms a door 
it's usually been in like the uh, what do you want to call it for the uh, maintenance slash uh, custodian where they had the mop sinks and stuff that's usually where I, they had the rooftop access somebody watching the video has probably been here and the good thing about these units are I think they're almost all carrier I think they're pretty specific keeping them that way and they did these all at the, about the same time and these which you wish most places have have the hinged access panel so you just had to turn two two screws at their screwdriver and uh the electrical panel opens the blower panel opens the filter access panel opens and for some reason you see more of that like on lennox units uh, most aeon units always come with it but in some trains but on carrier which seems to be the most popular brand in the area it just has the fewest hinged panels so Whenever I think of those, I always think of this place just because there was hundreds of units here and they have the hinged doors. So I can get a little closer. Kind of look at the shaded side here. Let's see, I think it's turned around over there. Nah. Yeah, see, they got the hinged panels. Those are nice. The blower compartment, that upper panel just opens to get to the belt right there. Left top is uh, electrical. And then the bottom left middle is the uh, compressors. And then on the blower side, it, it, uh, it opens with uh, three screws right there. You just put a screwdriver, turn the three, and it just hinges down. It's on a hinge. So you don't have to lift up and out that panel. It kind of sucks on those, but we get the hinge panels makes these a whole lot nicer it's just rare it's kind of a shame oops and yeah, i'll set the go home button <laughs> yep so not a ghetto mall this is a pretty cool mall and of course the reason why i wanted you to go through this one was because i think i got my new balance shoes from here oh yeah and there's a whole bunch of shopping, hotels. There's a stadium right there. Like a couple uh, of isn't the Coyote Stadium right down this way somewhere? No, they changed it. What? Yeah, it's like over, uh, kind of far away now. Hmm. I think I went to some sort of a conference at that, where R is on there. So they got, yeah, there's a, I think you can, it's like a place for concerts over here. Oh, yeah, we saw, uh, yeah, right over there in that big building that's coming up towards the top middle is uh, where I just saw Roger Waters earlier in the year. Or was that last year? I just remember being behind all those digital display boards to see that. So that's a, that's a big, that's kind of a, a venue right there. This is uh, just a bunch of other places, and then I know. Um, I think I think this is a uh, most of these. So I know there's apartments. I'm thinking, is it this place? Let's see, it was water source heat pumps. So is there are cooling towers up there. Yeah. So this is water source heat pumps. I don't remember that the place in the middle, but I think it was added after the fact. Let's speed this up a little bit. Is this that one place? I think I've been in here. If it's got the condos and they're right in the corner with all that glass, it's gonna be the right ones. I think that was it. But there were I remember there was a like some rentals or maybe they're maybe they're their own the condos, stone. but the glass man in the corner, they didn't put big enough AC and it's and their bedroom was right there where the sun hit the thing in the summer. I mean, it was like, it was a struggle to cool. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm looking at the right place. We got uh, restaurants, all that. This is a pretty nice area. And they're building some more properties right here.
there's lots of construction just everywhere so I'm gonna keep uh, some of this place that's you know I drive by on a regular basis I might uh, do updates every once in a while just kind of see how it looks it's just the growth around here is crazy but it's almost all multifamily homes I don't know if it's just me but I don't think it is it just seems like there's some new homes you know single family homes but it's almost all multifamily homes going up just tons of it which uh, means a lot of people are moving to Arizona perhaps but also just kind of you know they're kind of getting everybody to buy into these multifamily homes just kind of I don't know maybe it's gonna all be 15 minute city stuff that you know they keep talking about uh, my signal just went to crap come on I'm not that far away This area is really, really grown over the last 20 years. Used to be a lot more uh, empty land, you know, from you can see there's agricultural right here. Well, most of this used to look just like that 20 years ago. And actually this one interstate or kind of freeway 101 going by here, well, that wasn't here. Like, it's, uh, it's almost 20 years old now, but it wasn't there before. So this has really exploded in growth. There's a, we kind of back to where we started because there's a Cabela's, which I did earlier before I went to the other mall and then I wound up coming back here. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, didn't do any of these videos. These are pretty quick, but want to do some for you guys. You know, I was kind of curious. I look at these ones in. Or just split systems, okay. Nothing, it's pool. Okay, let's see if they had any cooling towers. Anyway, that'll do it for this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. That will catch you guys later.